Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in CSharp.net how to connect and fetch records from PostgreSQL database into a grid view control. And now we got your final output. Notice the headed axis. After that, we got a message now PostgreSQL connection is success. Below that, we got the table in a grid view control. And this table we are fetching from uh, the PostgreSQL database, which is a PG admin. The database, this is the table, student table, and displayed in the grid view control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in CSharp.net, first we we'll check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table name is a student which contains three columns, student ID, student name and email. Now my aim is, first I want to connect this PostgreSQL database in CSharp.net, after that we will fetch this record and display in a grid view control. So let's write the coding part. I'm using Visual Studio 2019, let's create a new project. And the templates I'm selecting web application. Here is the ASP.NET web application.NET framework, click next. Let's give the project name is post gray database post gray connection and I want to save this project in D drive in ASP.NET Core examples and the framework I'm using 4.7.2 is the latest one then click create. And from the templates, I'm selecting web forms. Click create. And here the project is successfully created. Let me close this default window. Now, when we want to connect the PostgreSQL database, first we need to install the uh, DLL library for that. And the project will notice there is references folder. Right click that one. Click manage nudget packages, go to browse and search for npg sql. From the search results, I'm selecting npg sql. Click install. Click OK. So notice here we got the download is installed successfully. Let me expand this references folder. See here, npg SQL, the DLL library is installed successfully. Let me close this not the package window. After that, we'll add one web form page to our project. So select the project name, right click the mouse, go to add, then select new item. The item I'm selecting from web, uh, web form. The web form page name I'm changing to index.axpx. And here we've got our index.axpx source page. Now between this form and due tags, I'm adding one center tag. So I want to display the uh, records in the center of the browser. H1 is the header tag. How to connect post day. SQL database HT tag CSharp.net web tutorials. After the headings, I am adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I am adding one label control and grid view control. The label control is displays if the connection is success. I want to display the PostgreSQL database connection success. If it's failure, I want to get the failure message on the label. So first let's add open toolbox. In the standard folder, there is a label element. Copy that one and paste here. Double click that one, sorry. And delete this text property of the label. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I'm adding a grid view control to display the data. So open toolbox. Let's minimize the standard folder. In the data folder, there is a grid view control. Let's double click that one. It will add it to our source code. That's it. We have done the designing part. Now the coding part is, right click the mouse, 
go to view code first let's import the connection class npg sql colon semicolon then after that using system dot data also we need to add after adding these two packages now in the page model i'm adding the try clash blocks try and cache this cache contains the exception so which catches the error here now in the try block i'm adding the label one dot text property if the connection is success i want to display post play sql connection success let's copy this one if the connection is failed i want to display postgres connection is failed now in the try section once the connection is success i want to fetch the records from the student table and display in a grid view control in this grid view control so here first let's add npg sql connection class here create a connection object is equals to npg sql connection class it's it's an object so we need to require to add new between double quotes and this method takes a string which is a connection string first one let's add the server is equals to so to find out the postgres sql connection string let's go to database and notice the postgres sql tool the root folder select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the properties there is a connection tab click that one here the host name or address this is our server local host let's copy that one and paste here semicolon after that we require the port number also port number is equals to here we got the port number of 5432 copy that one and paste here colon now we require the database also the database is equals to the table i have created in the charan database so let's add the database name is charan semicolon now we require the user id is equals to the user id is a username this is a username which is a postgres let's add that one also and the password we require password is equals to password one two three semicolon let's close the semicolon after that let's open the connection string com dot open method then after open the connection string we require the command object npg sql command and let's create the command object is equals to new npg sql command this command takes um, let's add the properties of the command here com dot command type is equals to first we require to open the connection string so let's add that one connection is equals to this pro variable i'm adding the connection object here then the command type is equals to command type dot text then com dot command text is equals to the command text is a select statement so Let's close this one. Copy this query. Select start from student and paste here. After that, after adding the command properties, next we require the adapter data adapter of the NPG SQL uh, data adapter. NDA is equals to new NPG SQL data adapter. Then let's add the data table. DT is equals to new data table. This data table class is belongs to system data. So for that, let's fill the data table. NDA dot fill method and filling the data with DT. Then 
um, then we need to close the command type uh, com dot dispose i'm disposing the command type then let's close the connection string also com dot close method after that let's bind the data and the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method the grid view one is the idea of the grid view control that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser Oops, here we got a message postgresql connection has failed let's fix that one and the connection is okay here see that here the adapter we need to add the com object sorry for that we need to add the sql command object in the data adapter now let's rerun the browser And now we got your final output. Notice the head axe. After that, we got a message now. PostgreSQL connection is success. Below that, we got the table in a grid view control. And this table we are fetching from uh, the PostgreSQL database, which is a PG admin. The database, this is the table string table and displayed in the grid view control. That's it. In this video, I have shown. How to create and connect the PostgreSQL database and fetch the records in a grid view control.